weather, but we could don't care anyway. So we're going to give this a go and uh, do the South Leinster Way. Uh, it'll be a bike packing route. It's very, very similar to the walk, to be honest with you. So we're going to fly down here anyway. I'll yeah. talk to you more later on. Hopefully it clears up and I get a proper conversation. Okay? So since we left Carrick and Shore, it's been all small roads up until now. Bar, there was about three to five minutes on a busy road coming out of Carrick and Shore. But now it's been small roads like this so far. So it's a pretty good trail for bike packing so far. We'll give a better assessment at the end because this hill is going to kick my ass. <laughs> Because we had burgers before we started and takeaway, so we're gonna have to have dinner. And I tell you, it's well and truly burnt by now, that's right. <laughs> but uh, it's been all small country roads since we left Carrick and Shore. Uh, it hasn't really stopped raining, it's still kind of drizzling a bit. Uh, we're nearly there, I think about maybe five, six K to go. So hopefully, you'll see the campsite soon. <laughs> see you then. That's our view. Uh, we came in here last night and uh, set up the camp here. Uh, we cycled yesterday evening. It rained on the whole day yesterday. Uh, when we got here, we just set up the tent and we had a tarp. We got in under the tarp for about an hour or two. Uh, yesterday, cycling was all roads, all small country roads. with a few uphills. Um, and today now, we're going to see what's coming up ahead of us. Uh, hopefully much of the same. I think it's a lot of small roads, uh, country roads, and some logging roads, I think. Um, yeah, but I'll show you the camps right now, and then I'm going to get breakfast and start. This is where we camped. Really, really nice spot. Um, we're thinking about a swim, but it's still a little bit cold. So we'll see how that is. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get breakfast first and we'll see you back soon. So we just come up this hill, you can see map behind us. That way it seems like a dead end. That's a field, and this seems like our route. Uh, yeah, looks difficult, <laughs> but we'll see what happens as we go.
of power, Matt. Good roads, isn't it? Good roads, yeah, the weather so far is uh, good, so yeah, we're making some progress, not that, we're not, we're not where we should be anyway. <laughs> Same old story with us. It doesn't mean more rain. Uh, yeah. It's been the old gravel road and country road up here, same as we always thought, triple B. It's turned out exactly as we thought. Very little where we're kind of going off road, very, very little. Nothing of concern anyway. Here's Matt. <laughs> it's been all uphill. Summer day. This is our path at the moment. Makes a nice change, I suppose, from the logging roads and the small country roads we've been on so far. Bit of like a dirt track, I would say. A uh, bit uphill though, so that's just kind of a killer because it's hard to get a grip on it and to cycle at times. But enjoyable, we're getting there. Just at the top of Mount Alto now, I think it is, just skirting around it. Uh, kind of want to put the drone up. Uh, but it's just the wind just keeps coming on and off and I'm just afraid I'll lose it so I'm really kind of reluctant to put it up a lot of the time now because it's very windy today um, yeah we're nearly in Inish Teague now I think it's all downhill to get there and uh, yeah we'll just see what, what happens when we get there I suppose Been brilliant since we left Mount Alto. Um, it's all been roads like this, little forest paths and logging roads. It's been really good cycling. It's all downhill as well, which is a big bonus. So it's been brilliant. Ice House. I'm guessing it's where they used to keep things cool and uh, store food. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Just come along the trail like this and see it. That's the river in there. Sorry. The top of it, is it? So we stopped here in Inish Teague and we're going to get some food, some burritos, as well as, as, well as Guinness and a Bulmer. Just a tie of flow, so it's Guinness and uh, burritos. It's not going to be a great combination. <laughs> With the bikes outside.
So since we left Inish Teague, it's been all uphill. Poor Matt's behind me, so I'm pushing the bike up the hill. It's been constant. Um, so just a little bit ahead. Uh, be aware if you're gonna take the route in Inish Teague, after Inish Teague, it's a good climb. Um, we had some good food in Inish Teague and ice cream, and then we left there and pushed on. I'm really disappointed I can't really use the drone much because it's just so windy and I'm afraid the drone will just go flying somewhere. Little mouse. The man, I think, the destination of next town. I think we have to go up around the mountain over here. Uh, it's all uphill. Just got some food in Craig and Mana. Uh, got a little bit of takeaway again. Um, but this is what Craig and Mana looks like. So we're making good time as it stands so far. The only thing is, there's a lot of tree roots going out across the path, and they're just killer. <laughs> you think you're going nice and smooth, and they're like little speed ramps as you're going along. Uh, yeah, so flying along this for a while. Hopefully, this path keeps good, and uh, we'll see you soon. wanted to mention that I said this has probably been the highlight of the trip this section going along by the barrow it's just absolutely stunning So once we left the Barrow Way, we went to a small town called Boris. Uh, after Boris, it's been okay, slight uphill. Now it's real uphill. <laughs> and it's meant to be like this for quite some time, roughly in the region of 10k, 9k, uh, going uphill. It's half seven now. I don't know what time we're gonna get there, or where we're gonna camp, or the time. But the closer we do today, or the further we do today, the closer we are tomorrow to the car. So that's our aim at the moment. Try to get as much done as we can today. Matt's back there. I don't even know if you can see him. Yeah, so that's us for a while. I have to 
to say, there are some views on this trip. Still on these small country roads, but there's been absolutely no traffic at all, hardly. We have one car, two most, I'd say. Yeah, we're going up to nine stones. It's in the distance, we can see the gap. It's another bit though. Oh, we'll see you when we're there. Um, this is the highest point of the trip. This is nine stones. Uh, the significance of the nine stones. I have no idea. <laughs> but the views are, are great up here. But a nicer day, you get much clearer views, I'm sure. Some windmills in the distance. So that's us, that's the highest point. We're literally, I'd say, about maybe 10 kilometers from the end. We're gonna go try find a spot to camp. It's 10 past nine now. Uh, yeah, it's all downhill from here. That's the positive, I suppose. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon when we're camping, I guess. So this is our camp spot for the night. Um, should be a short shoot down in the morning. Maybe 5K to 10, somewhere in that region. My phone went dead, so it's hard to tell. Uh, but it's not far anyway, last I checked. Um, yeah, we're again on the logging roads. Here we are. Uh, it was a tough day, a really tough day. A really good cycle though. If you're looking for a bike packing route, that's pretty good. And uh, it was pretty good on a gravel bike as well. There's a lot of hills in it though. It's the only thing I'd say. I'll probably speak to you more in the morning or maybe when I get a better chance because it looks like it's about to absolutely team down with rain any minute now. So I want to try and get into the tent and get a bit dry. Uh, so I'll probably have a better shout to you in the morning. I'll probably think of more to say and uh, I'll hit you up then. Good night. So that's us packing up after what was be described as a rainy, very rainy, very windy night. Uh, the tent kept getting knocked and we thought at times the covers were going to fly off but nothing happened nothing major in the end everything was okay same with Matt's tent my tent we both survived um, so that's going to be it for this trip because we have just about six or seven k down the road to get to the car so we're going to sign off here you can get this I have a Kamut link um, in the description for if you want to download this route and Rob don't forget I have forgot about your Gaia app I have made a future route on it and I will use it for that I was unable to change it for this route so my next route is going to be with the Gaia and I do appreciate the advice um, that's it I think for us there's nothing left to say the trip is very very good as a bike packing route I highly recommend it if you want to do a bike packing route it's, it's really really good lots of hills in it as well you'd probably be best suited on maybe a gravel bike as opposed to a mountain bike just so you get the distance in and I'd say some people could probably complete this in a day if they're good enough and good luck to them <laughs> uh, that's it from us as always thanks for watching see you next time